All right, so last week somebody sent me a video on Twitter about masculinity or hypermasculinity. For those of you who don't know, this website or this page lined up about 10 of the most beta motherfuckers you've ever seen in your life. I really hope they were paid actors because these were the types of motherfuckers that eat alphabet soup and choke on the D. Not one of them have ever seen the inside of a gym. They don't even know a guy named Jim, let alone go to one. And they're over here trolling and making fun of the synonyms associated with the word masculine and masculinity. This one motherfucker had the balls to say his definition of masculine was loving myself and trusting myself. Get the fuck out of here! And I'm not saying that every man needs to be masculine, but don't you fucking dare tell me and my bros who are alpha as fuck that you're gonna try to change the definition! Because the definition of masculine is what it always was, what it is, and what it always fucking will be. And that's being jacked, being tan, being juicy as fuck, having a job, being able to provide, helping people in need, being a little fucking arrogant, and being able to walk down the street and having the balls if a motherfucker grabs a girl's ass to punch him in the fucking face! The kicker is this one motherfucker said, This is the body I was born with. This is the body I know. So this is the body of a man. Bull fucking shit! We're born small and weak, and if we're lucky enough, we die small and weak. How we look in between is up to us. So every fucking day, I'm gonna be in the gym getting juicy as fuck. And if I die tomorrow, Bury me in a double wide casket, motherfucker, and make sure you give me a spray tan before you close the box, because I want to be the most jacked and tan motherfucker to die that day!